Good morning, garden friends. It is a beautiful day. So I am going to take advantage of the good weather. Go ahead and get my roses cut back and de-leaf. I need to get a jump on these because we've been having not the greatest weather, but I wanna make sure I get these done. So I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna actually end up using my own garden gloves. And these are our leather to help keep the prickers from getting me. And these are size medium. So, and a lot of these, you can see like new growth on them, but I'm still gonna cut them down by a third, you know, because it'll still be nice and full and then get all the dead um, branches out of here too. And then this is the thing, as a reminder, when you are clipping roses, the idea is for the buds to be outside. That way it doesn't get the center all clogged up and then you got the possibility of disease and what have you, because it's not getting enough air circulation in it. Then you want to make sure you're cutting off any branches that are crossing over on each other. And then especially for my pots, making sure that any of the dead leaves that's fallen in there, I'm getting those guys out. I'm getting some of the leaves off this one so that I can see where they might be crossing over at. Now, because I want to get these all done, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting the rest of the roses clipped back. And then I'll come back with the blower to get everything up because I'm sort of on a time frame. Okay, so I have two roses in the, in the containers here that are my, my drift roses. And what I normally do with those, I cut those guys all the way back. So let's go ahead and get those knocked out. Now this one here has gone to seed. And then this is the thing. I know one of the things that they say as far as making sure you clean off of your clippers one thing that I do know about my roses, my roses are very healthy. Rarely do I have any type of disease, but I'll probably go clean these off after doing these six. I just put some alcohol on here.
you said. You're not going to get all of them off, but the ideal is to get majority of them off so that the new flush that comes through will end up having a healthy start. So. And a lot of the leaves that look bad is due to the frost, you know, because they started to grow because it was this up and down weather, so. And I just so love it after you clip down and clean up roses, how nice they end up looking. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these roses cut back and then get the beds blown out. And then I'll just do a quick walkthrough of all the roses that I have gotten trimmed and ready for spring. This is my big rose that I'm gonna cut back really hard. I do every year and it just comes back even stronger. trying to do is look for where the buds are coming out this direction uh, when I'm clipping. I'll go in with my smaller clippers to get any that are crossing over on each other. All right, <laughs> so that one is done. Like I said, I'll get in between there to get the, that stuff clip, clipped off. And then any of these leaves hold off. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this one, this one, and this one cut back. And as you can see, um, got a lot of growth, but I'm going to cut these guys down because I, I want them all to be the same height when they start to uh, flourish. All right, so <clears throat> I got them nicely evenly cut down and there's a couple of little leaves on there I'll pull off and then my other rose bush there so that's the pink one that gets massive so just can't wait to get my fence painted uh, it's supposed to have some good weather this weekend so hopefully we'll get this knocked out and looky here, guys, these were the roses that I propagated uh, early this year 
or last year, end of last year, and they got a little bit of frost damage to them, but I clipped it off. But you can see it has buds. Let me get that focused in. <laughs> Hold on. Buds and then even growth on these. I am so excited. And these guys too, not to get sidetracked, are my uh, winter sowing flowers. And my lupine is doing really well. So, and then you can look down in there, you can see the greenery in there. So, but yeah, just to get back, give you an update on the roses. And I will actually link the video of me propagating them. Well, thank you again for visiting Inspiring Garden Corner. And if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. And I so look forward to seeing you check out my next video.